so our Jermaine Sterling was um still on the floor. Uh, he still has one, still had one of his knees touching the floor, as was briefly explained to me by my coach Charlie, that I mentioned in many of my podcasts. Um, and he did mention that if um your opponent's knees on the floor, then um you can't you can't. I hope I'm saying this, hope I'm saying this correctly. You cannot attack them. And um, what happened is that Sterling's knee was on the floor, and Jan came along and he um actually he executed an elite, an illegal knee, and um they stopped the fight and um Sterling appeared to be if not fully but partially concussed. You can see that just it almost looked like he was awake, alive, but it looks like he wasn't aware. Of, he didn't know where he was, and um. I was kind of people asking what at the end of the fight what was um Jan why did Jan have his hand raised um and he uh, stopped getting tongue twisted he he kind of explained himself at the press conference after the fight saying that he didn't know and he actually thought that given the situation of what he had done um, that knee that he had um executed on um Sterling that the results of the fight would have been no contest, but that wasn't the case at all. I mean, I mean, everybody saw what happened. You know, the opponent had his knee on the ground, which means you can't attack them. I hope I'm right, I hope I'm right in <laughs> when I say that, but this is how I understand it when it was explained to me, that Sterling's knee was still on the ground, so he, that knee would have been illegal. And, um, yeah, to come for Sterling to make things worse... Even though the win was given to him, and um, he um, was he defending the belt, but even though the win was given to him, um, I, I I can understand. Understandably, he was still annoyed and pissed. And many people in the mixed martial arts community all came out saying, "Yeah, tough fight. So that was a good fight. Force good fight. It's a shame for what happened at the end. However, um, that's not how you um, achieve a win." You know, you, you finish the fight. You finish. You make sure you finish the fight, whether it's a TKO, fly, flying knee, whichever way, but not in this manner. Because I was even saying to Charlie that it ought. To, I can't remember who it was, but I was saying to someone on Instagram, just commenting on the um on the post that I'd posted, that um. You know, it does feel. It will feel to Jermaine to our Jermaine Sterling. Excuse me. It will feel to um to Arjun Sterling as if that was an easy win, like the win was handed to him, you know, off the back of what happened. So I can I can understand that um it, you know as Joe Rogan was saying in his commentary that this will not be looked on, especially by him anyway. It will not be looked on as a as a proper victory. So I can understand his upset. Many people in the community were upset um by what happened as well. Now some I think some people um T J Dillashaw came out saying that um this guy's cheated and uh, uh you know basically many people are coming out and saying you know disagreeing with what happened that that's not a proper win you know he should have been given um at least you know and Dana what Dana White has said that um the whole thing the whole fight is going to be redone again as soon as possible so i think even he can understand that it wasn't a proper win and um it should be re- redone again the other guy made an illegal move and uh, that's basically not on <laughs>